buckle in my belt. Call my brother on the phone. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Washington Redskins and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. here on first down rush coming and he's taken down Brandon if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all out rush like that I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on I'm going to hit them with a screen soon so now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack work to be done A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. down to two and we get A signal and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. the 45 a big 30 yard play on third Marty, Marty. there will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield but when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays that's often the difference in winning and losing those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance that'll drive a team towards a victory From the 32 now, here's first and Detroit, 10. Detroit! Leopard! Leopard! All right now, lucky 56! Lucky 56! Now Rudolph on first down. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. 
Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive right, now, teams think they come in bunches. Let's go. Let's go. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Second and 10, Rudolph again. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Austin Safarian Jenkins, 32 yards. And the Jags have taken the early lead. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They've got that momentum going, a touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. And we're going to have to make some adjustments if you're on the other side of that football. This is taken about seven yards deep.
go play action here on first down. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the offense will cover this one up, but they'll be pushed back inside their own 10. This one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very right, now, long. Lucky 56. Lucky 56. All right, now. Lucky 56. Lucky 56. Back to throw. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. show patience there did they just down the score they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception they put their defense in a really tough spot and out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go and certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive got the football back so a chance to go up two scores and they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense how will they play you in certain situations Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Detroit! Detroit! All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Rudolph throwing on second down. Left side complete, Safarian Jenkins. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. The Jags with their first opportunity in the red zone. This is first and goal from about the eight. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, yeah, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. This Fournette territory here, and he's alone in the backfield on second and goal. Over, 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 over! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! They get it to him running left, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that is going to set up third and goal. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. 
So out now come the Redskins. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. It's a gain of five on the play, and it's a second down. And they'll go with a ground attack here. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. No, 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 check, Patriot, Patriot! Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Here we go now, 319, 319! Back to throw now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Leopard, Leopard. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. This one down inside the 15. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing Detroit, its will. Detroit! 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 They'll set up to throw. They'll check it down to Geis. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Washington in for the score and the Redskins have made this a one score game well, so it goes for a rookie quarterback he had the INT earlier in this first half but he bounces back with a touchdown pass and you have to like the mental acumen the toughness the fortitude of him because oftentimes for a rookie you throw an interception early you're taken right out of the game or mentally you check out a little bit give him a lot of credit for bouncing back 
So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, Detroit, maybe the offense Detroit. not too happy. It's a balancing act, Detroit, isn't it? Because Detroit. you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Back not there, easily there. done. Here we go. Detroit! Detroit! First down, Rudolph. He's going to rifle one deep left side. He's got a man complete. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 57 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 all the way to the red zone now for first and 10. From the red zone now, Rudolph. Sharks got it, left side. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball Detroit! is before the defender Detroit! does. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. So quick on the spin. Uh, he's spinning, man. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe right, go now, two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line Detroit! of scrimmage. Detroit! He'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! They'll look to throw. He's going to look deep down the field into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Well, Brandon, there's no question who they're going to look to on third and long, but you can bet this defense knows that as well, so they've got him blanketed downfield. And this ball winds up being intercepted. Go on, go on. Line of scrimmage with 31 now on first and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Ah! After the interception, here's Rudolph. Safarian Jenkins, right side. 23 yards on the play. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. 
and that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. First down to Trudeau. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. to the air. Rudolph on second down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more from Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion since. on third down. Here's Rudolph. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. They'll fake it. Now Rudolph. And, and that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. As his guys are in for six. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. And it was a tight window. He knew he had to rocket that thing in there. He got it done. And when you're able to complete one like that, your confidence has to just go sky high. You just mentioned it. Tight window. Zings it in there despite excellent coverage. Result, touchdown. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Out comes the Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. some space up to about the 25. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Going up top. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. 
picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Thought he had the pick. Flag comes in for P.I., so cancel it out. Interference. Oh, a killer for them. Thought they had a nice play. Instead, they'll be marching off yardage against them. Right back to him on first down. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And so the last three drives, you've got two interceptions and a fumble. I think we know why they're losing right now. Without question, and we've seen the evidence, just what you talked about there. If they take care of the football, number one, maybe they're not having this deficit. And number two, maybe they actually have the lead. Looking long for Westbrook. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. On second and ten, Rudolph. On the right side, open is Gasicki. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch just one yard, making it third and nine. He was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. This is brought in at the 21. And he loses the football a second time. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. No, I'm not mad at you for skipping halftime, but can I just have a sip of water real quick, please? Thank you. All right, let's go. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm -hmm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game.
Rudolph on first down. This is caught. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. In for the score. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. But sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Again, they run. Again, it's Geis. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. This is taken at about the 14. A good return there. 17 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. And now out come the Jags. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Now a play fake here on first down. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Well, the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Rudolph looking to throw. He's going to air one out. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Fournette, a first down carry. And he's going to be met at about the 43. On the stop, Breland speaks. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Detroit! Detroit! No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! This is Cohen. And another mistake here defensively as a flag is down on the tackle. And that's going to tack on 15 more. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. After the penalty, it's Fournette. A little second effort there on the strong run. 
And then drop just inside of the 20. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Second down, here's Fournette. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Here comes a first down throw for Rudolph. And he is caught at the seven yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion. So that sets up second and six. Detroit! Detroit! Over, 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 over! Watch him now, Barney! Barney! A handoff to Fournette. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Jaguars are pouring it on. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way... The punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They'll try to get this running game going with Geis. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, you had the punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. He'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. second half now and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive looks like they're just totally out of sync whether they're running the ball passing the ball like we saw there i don't know the rhythm seems off here's tressway now as he'll punt it away for the second time he gets this one away and boy it's another boomer this is taken at the 15. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. He's gonna fire one deep, middle. Oh, this is taken in, it's complete. 
And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. They give him a gain of 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Rudolph on first down. He'll leave it for Cohen, complete. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. now to throw and finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7 a really nice gain of 25 yards they have the nice cushion <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now still throwing the football and I know my background says why do you need to do this just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win but as many people pointed out to me it's a video game, man. <laughs> Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Here's Rudolph. And that's incomplete. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third now, and goal? Go on, go on, go on, go on. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. I got him, I got him back. Ah! Back to throw, Rudolph. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This is a 26-yard attempt. And Lambeau will put this one through, and that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now they try the right side here. And he powers his way up past the 30. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. No, 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 no. Jack, Patriot! Patriot! Leopard! Leopard! Now a handoff looking right. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 and a first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Now they try the right side here. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The Redskins on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and nine. They'll hand it down to Geis. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. They lost a big chunk. Six yards there. And it leads to fourth down. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They go with the option on fourth down, left side. And the surge is going to be too much defensively. He's hit and taken down to the backfield. The Redskins go for it, but it doesn't pan out. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Leopard. They go play action here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take the like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Jonathan Allen able to get in there and take him down for a loss of three. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Third and long, it's Rudolph. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the left hash, this from 37. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. There for the tackle, the former Wisconsin Badger, Leon Jacobs. Now they'll run it 
it on the toss. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And a gain there of 11 yards. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Now a handoff looking right, and he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Geis with a carry on second down, and he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. The Redskins on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. They stay on the ground. Geis again. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And what are the whistles for? Timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. And they'll run it here. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. to throw now on second and ten. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Or are you I, one of those guys who's skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. You got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly, wise beyond his years. So for Jacksonville, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the New York Jets come to town. Meanwhile, for Washington, they'll fall to 1-1. One and one, And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles.